I think, I think I think mouse boats will you make think it. Mouse boats. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna see how it's gonna go. I mean, put it this way: th there's no way this game is gonna be as uh, you know lacking entertainment as the map that preceded it, where really it should have been over a lot quicker. Uh, that's all done and dusted now. It's gonna be uh, an entertaining map. I'm really psyched and looking forward to it. So let's see how this is gonna pan out. We've got the pistol round going off to a quick start, and you can see that mouse ports spread out all over. Got a couple of boys uh, from Mouse Sports in the upper B tunnel area. They're just having a little peek around. Obviously, Mouse Sports starting as T. And alu has gone for a peek at long. Wasn't able to get anything. And there were two players from Planet Key there waiting to greet him. And a uh, little bit of damage for Arlu, a little bit of damage for God B. So, so far, the reconnaissance, the scouting hasn't really worked out for them. Arlu's kind of getting into this little trade here, trying to pre fire him. And uh, it's not really working, so he's going to back off. Mouse Sports not committed to anything yet on the map, but you can see them starting to bunch up in that mid area. Where are they going to be? Is it going to be a mid to B, or are they going to go up short? Well, they're heading towards short at the moment, and that's a great nade from Tribbly. Well timed. Actually, didn't quite do as much damage as I thought it was going to. They saw it early and managed to back off. Tribbly's going to. Uh, get out of the way and go along and say they might be coming short, but this opens it up in mid, and Mouse Sports are able to push out and head towards that B area. They are going to go through, and uh, are they going to be able to get a blind kill? No, they weren't in the end. Strixie gets taken down by Tabson. Changes the complexion of this round very much, but Alu picks up a cheeky double. And uh, maybe the star player is going to wake up. He can see Stavros is in a fast rotation. That smoke is an absolute killer, but he does get the kill on God B anyway. And in the meantime, the bomb has gone down. Arlo with already two kills. But wow, look at that from Trubbly. Ben Arlo and Chris J answer back. And it is the star players from Mouseports putting it all on Trubbly. And it is going to be Mouseports that take that terrorist pistol. Four kills, though, for Arlo. What a great individual round from him. Well played round. It's a common tactic to go from middle to B in the first round. And early on, Mouse boards tried to gain information on long. They knew two two guys were on long. Chris J pushed up on short. He knew one was in CT, so they knew only two guys on B or middle, mm -hmm. and that's when they pushed up middle to B. And the positioning by Planet Q wasn't very good. They had like one on side, one on plat, yeah. and even though Strux managed to get one frag, they just got overrun. And Unfortunately for them, for those from those positions, is they can't really set up that crossfire, that powerful right. crossfire, where you're forcing Mouseports to then make the decision, do I look left or right? If Mouseports only need to look right, that kind of simplifies matters for them. So that's going to force Planaki into a pistol armor buy here, forced by from them. They did pick up a scout, but it's Chris J who was able to punish Trouble early on here, picking him off at the mid doors while he was trying to get cheeky. And as I try and swap the next, he's picked off at mid. So Tabson basically opening things up here for Mouseports. They continue to barrel forward, and it's looking like they want to wind up on A. Unfortunately for them, there's three members here for Planet Key. This is not the best place on the map to be go. Well, at this stage, I um, don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but you can see Stavros is about to get uh, nicely toasted, and he's had to drop back to Goose. Uh, he's just trying to get one little headshot, but in the meantime, it's Strixy that heads up there. Legia reads him like a book. Oh, in the meantime, though, Alexa gets two kills from behind. Wasn't able to get the third. That could have been a little bit embarrassing. Mouse Sports, though, are going to go two and zero as expected. And Nex is spending money in this round as well. Yep. Well, we didn't really see Planet Key put much of emphasis on the Ops the first time we saw them play Dust 2. No, absolutely so not. They, they didn't seem to really care about it. They played mid in a very passive fashion. Um, so, you know, a CT, and they didn't really challenge with an AWP, so perhaps that's how it's going to be, perhaps it's going to be a component of their play. Now, Mouse Sports are setting up for an anti-eco here, and you can see that they're uh, just grouping up. Like, they're just hanging back into yeah, spawn. around this spawn area. They're not giving him many opportunities here. I mean, Alex is going to be able to sneak into Longhouse here and potentially catch somebody off guard as they try and push through. I mean, he's got the help of Trubly as well. Pretty nice stack, actually, here. And are they going to get offensive? I mean, Trubly... He's setting up with the pop flash right now. That's going to be down to Alex then to round that corner quickly. And he's going to get caught. Actually, Stavros saves his life. He took that bullet for him. Well, I mean, that was uh, probably kind of a bad call. They got themselves into a good position. They probably had an inkling that Mouse Sports hadn't pushed. And Planet Key going for that flash and peak. While it's, it's great when it works, uh, it didn't quite come off there. So they lose a man somewhat needlessly. They also give away their position. And you can see Mouse Sports are reacting accordingly. They're coming through mid. Uh, they're going to head up short. Trubbly is trying to do some damage. Does a little bit to tabs and takes him down to 68. Alex, though, is going to uh, just come up on this uh, ramp. 
to a site. And oh my word, the Barbie has been lit and he's just getting absolutely wrecked at the moment. Chris J and Tabson are going to get the kills. And you can see it's Nex and Struxy with it all to do. And uh, Mousepots wisely left Arlo at the top of mid just to stop and slow down the rotates. Also, it gives a nice early call to his teammates. And uh, Legia is just going to sit in this smoke here on short. And uh, he knows if anyone comes to get him, he's going to be more than capable of dealing with it. And uh, Chris J gets the kill. And uh, it's just Next that's left. So he wasn't even able to get a weapon, really. Next just has to kind of sit there and hope he doesn't get pushed. But no doubt about it, this will be the third round to Mouse Sports. Three and zero. And uh, looking comfortable here. But I feel similar that this is a very important round coming in for uh, Planet Key. Um, oh, it goes without saying at this point. Full rifles, yep. as many nades as they can pick up. Not nearly as many as they would like. Alex, unfortunately for him, didn't get any kills with that 5-7 afterwards, mm -hmm. so he wasn't re able, able to really re-up on money. So that's a bit of a shame. He spent 500 bucks, you know, of the 600 he made the round before yep. and isn't really able to get anything out of that at all. Struggs gets tagged down by Chris J, who has the AWP for T-side Mouseports, so that's going to hurt things, and that may well influence where Mouseports decide to take the, the round uh, as the round progresses, seeing as how they know now at least one guy on B side has been tagged. What 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 do, you, what do you think of this, Johnny? When when teams you know with CT kind of give away mid, you know they're not playing anyone watching it. They're they're kind of just letting the the terrorists do what they want. Is that is that a problem, or can you get away with that if you have a good setup on each bomb site? Yeah, exactly. If you if you ha have a good setup and you're prepared for it, it, you can play like that. But in my opinion, Planet Key should focus more on mid because. Look how, th that's how they play every time. Strokes outside of B, he leaves the guy one, uh, the guy on B alone, and every time they rush B, he tries to flash for him and stuff, but it doesn't work out all the time, and that's their main problem. So, in this case, for Planet Key, look, Trouble rotated to B. Yeah, they really wanted, they were really expecting Mouseports to go for a yeah. B split. They even have, like, Mouseports even trying to sell that fake with Alu throwing down the CT smoke. But instead, it's going to be a cat plant, unmolested. Mouseports get up onto that site, get the bomb plant, and get to pretty much sit there and do whatever the hell they want now. And, you know, it's crazy. It's in a five on, on five situation still. There's barely been any damage whatsoever. And you can just look from the setup on the map. I mean, the CTs aren't even bothering here. They're just, you know what? We'll, we'll just put this one in the books. We'll keep all of our guns. Because they know they'll be facing an eco next round anyway. Yep. And they don't fancy doing a retake, which, again, I'm, I'm really surprised by uh, that, you know, Planet Key uh, are lacking in confidence to that degree. That's and really, that's not every day that you get to see uh, a full team eco like that. Not I, I can't, I, I can't think done. of a time I've seen it in CSGO, actually. Oh. I've seen it in Source, but I've never seen it in CSGO. They had a read, but... Unfortunately for them, it that didn't read. work out. Yeah. So it, their best decision was just to save it. They knew it was planted for short because they had one guy in pit on long, and he couldn't see anyone. It was the best decision. That seems like the only decision. And once again, Chris J. Ah, Chris J. Will go into long house. That's why. Yep. And uh, Chris J. Is going to get the pick there. So off to a good start this round. Mousebots picking up a numerical advantage. And you know, it's got to be said, all the things that have been said uh, to the detriment of Chris J. In this series, he's definitely turned up. There's no doubt about it. So uh, bringing his online form to a land near you. Currently sat at the top of the frag charts with seven kills. So. How are Planet Key going to react to this? Right now, you wouldn't believe that they were a team that were saying they were supremely confident of winning on Dust 2 because they're playing a little bit scared, playing within themselves. And I don't just mean passive. I mean, they're not really doing what they did against Reason, where they try to make plays and they try to peak and they challenge people. Right now, they're letting Mousebots dictate the pace of this game and dictate, well, everything about it, you know, where they go. And it's just like... Semler said, unmolested was the word he used. So, again, the fire coming in, and that's going to give Troubly the chance to deploy a flash, but is he going to be able to do anything once he does it? Well, yes, Alex is going to get a kill, and Troubly's going to get one for his trouble. So, the uh, Mouse Sports players know they got to push out pretty fast. If you can see, there's still one at uh, the big box. Troubly just having a little spam away. Strix is going to get a kill and make that a double. So it's all on Arlu, and Arlu's going to be like, you know what, they can have this round. We're just going to back off and play nice and casual. 
and just hide here in the T spawn area. So that is going to be a round in the book for Planet Key Dynamics. And um, what do you think the secret to them winning that round was? It kind of just felt that, I know, they were a little bit more composed in the way they defended the bomb sites. Chris J did an awesome shot. He got the first player and they just stacked up and got two on long and three on short. Uh, that's where they failed. Because on B, they gained the information that they're not coming B, so they just stacked up on A and destroyed the rush. Mm -hmm. Basically like that. Shut it down. So, again, a much slower start to the round. Uh, they haven't got a kill yet. Um, I'll support them like last time, but obviously they have got a full complement of weapons. They're more than the equipped to do it. But again, it's like I say, you can see that planet key are just letting them kind of dictate the pace. Trouble has dropped down into the city spawn area and it's just going to deploy a smoke, give Mouseport something to think about. But in the meantime, while no one's been watching that mid area, Mouseport's been able to get up short. That smoke's now been deployed, so they're thinking, you know what, we're not going to push through that smoke. And we're just going to wait. Uh, look at this read coming in, however, probably he's working his way back over to this B site. If Mouse Sports get deterred by the smoke, if they decide to take it elsewhere on the map, this could be an interesting uh, scenario, seeing as how there's three members on that B site right now for Planet Key. I mean, you do have Chris J kind of hunting for frags right now. He's looking to see if he can't pick anybody off to make the job easier once they decide to commit. And it is going to be an A push again. Mouse Sports are just having such great calls. Yeah, well, I, I got to say, I like that, though, from Chris J, the fact that he is actually stepping up and trying to make those plays. He's not afraid to just walk out in the mid with an AWP. He's confident of hitting his shots. And, you know, that's that's not the same player that, it, you know, we've criticized in the past. So great for him. Alex is going to get a great little headshot uh, on Gobby as he comes out of short. But that's got to be the call. They know that they're going there. There's only four seconds on the clock. And with that kill, that's the round over. So Mouse Sports thought they had an infinite amount of time. But actually, boys, you don't. <laughs> you don't at all. You've got to get that bomb down before it says zero. And Chris J got picked up after the uh, the time ran out as well, so no money for him. So he's not going to be too pleased about that. Alu is going to drop him the AWP, I imagine, or hold on to it himself. No, they're just going to drop him an AK, and Alu is going to be the one taking the shots down mid. So, I mean, that's a, that's a free round in a lot of ways for uh, Planet Key because Mouse Sports, you know, they, they had that kind of numerical advantage. They were pushing out on short. Everything was going right for them. And ultimately, it was just a poor call, you know, a lack of decisiveness that gave Planet Key that round. So again, that's one of those mistakes that we've seen, which has typified this series. Neither team has been particularly fluid in their execution of uh, strats. So uh, in the end, uh, we see from all that spraying, Stamos is going to get a kill on the God B, who again had wandered a bit, little bit too far from home. And it uh, got a kill. That's the kill on short. So Mouse Sports going to drop back. And of course, they have got guns here, so anything can happen. Moving towards that B side, I wonder if Tabson's just going to try and give him something to think about. He's going to put a smoke, maybe make him think and force the rotate. You can see that the bomb, yeah, well, no, they are going to go along now with the bomb. So it is going to be an A split. They are going to commit to it. You can see Alex is just in the pit, just lurking. And uh, the flash is coming out, the smoke is coming out. Alex hasn't been able to capitalize, but uh, he has got a read on someone. That's a great little headshot from him. Only able to get the one kill, though, before Ali takes him down. So all of a sudden, Mouse Sports are in a three on three. 20 seconds on the clock again, just not really utilizing the time uh, to their advantage. So 13 seconds. Is it going to be unlucky for Mouse Sports? Let's see. Whoa, Tap is in the fire. What are you doing? So many players are suiciding today. Five Th seconds on the clock. The, round. the bomb is in no man's land. He could have just waited. Didn't have to go there. So again, Mouse Sports making one of these mistakes. We saw it with Gobi. He threw himself into the flames on the funeral pyre. Like Denethor in Lord of the Rings. Just doesn't want to live. And again, another round goes against Mouse Sports because of a mistake. So 4-3. And uh, well, again, a bit of a bit of a mixed buy, a bit of a forced buy here from Mouse Sports. Assembly, you got your head in your hands. I don't even know, man. That's that's just so odd. Two rounds in a row like that where they aren't able where they just leave it so late. Yeah, but again, even if he doesn't do that little jump at the end, so the bomb falls off the side, yeah. someone can maybe run in and plant. I mean, so it's a double mistake in a lot of ways. Yeah, he needed to turn back, turn back towards uh, towards his teammate, <laughs> make sure to drop that. Uh, he needed that to pull the Dick Whittington. Yeah, unbelievable, uh, really. But anyway, 
It's in the books. Like you say, it's been a tense and edgy affair this game. Both teams making their fair share of mistakes. But Planet Key were the lucky recipients of the last two rounds. So 4-3 Amal Sports. But last two rounds, ones to forget for the mixed nationality team. And again, that looked a bit strange. There was all sorts going on there. People just dropping into each other while they were blind. Spam's coming down into mid trouble. He's just trying to catch some... Uh, Catch some kills through the smoke. Hasn't really happened. Legi is going to get that kill on the Trouble. So, Mouse Sports are in a 4 and 4 situation, but they are the walking wounded at the moment. Stavros is going to get an easy kill. Strux is going to wade in with another while Tabson takes down Alex. And you can see Stavros is just watching short. Great little recall control from him. Takes Gobby down very low. And uh, this should be a wrap up for him. Oh, great shot what? from Gobby, though. Insta dink on Stavros. <laughs> and that tech 9 and him and Tabson are the ones. What? This game is crazy. Nothing makes any sense anymore, Semler. So much throwing. Yeah, Game of Throws. <laughs> I'm at a loss right now. This is just all over the place. Both of these teams. I, mean, know, I, I don't know if it's people are tense or people are tired. or I, I, I don't know what it is, but this is an inordinate amount of mistakes uh, you know, that I've seen uh, in any series, actually. So... Uh, it's fairly uh, fairly incredible, but Mouse Sports, again, they were the recipients there. I mean, on the one hand, you can say it's a mistake. I guess you've got to give credit to God B there, who came up big with his Tech 9. You know, we've criticized his play a little bit over this series, but actually, he did work. So, Mouse Sports 5 3, Planet Key, going to be disappointed. But on Planet Key side, they didn't need to push. They all phased yep. one by one, and that's when the pistols are. I mean, that's when the Tech 9 is going to ruin yeah. your day. Like, but we're s this seems like Planet Key, we've seen this way more often than we should. Like, they consistently do this, where they aren't working together as a team, as a unit. I'm wondering if this uh, if this whole thing, you know, if it can be traced back to Trubly and the fact that, you know, there's still some uncertainty as far as the team roster is concerned. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Well, Trubly doesn't think so either. He's already got one frag in this round, at least. Yeah, he's... And uh, look where the bomb is. I'm still here. Yeah, the yeah. bomb's falling down again into no man's land. I mean, Mousepods are just thinking, like, look, you do realize this package is kind of important. And at this stage, they probably need to get DHS to start shipping what it. What a great them. move. Yeah, yeah great play from Tabs. And that was smart. Drop down, threw the bomb up to Gobby. Great teamwork. But again, a position they probably shouldn't have Wait, been in. Anyway, he oh, plan. no, he didn't <laughs> even <laughs> plan. He pulled out at the last second. This is valuable time, actually, yeah. going to waste. So I mean, while that's been going on, Planet Key are on the rotate, and you can see they're just dropping bodies. Alex with a crazy little kill there uh, on Chris J. So uh, not able to get a second, but Trouble is going to get one from uh, uh, on God B. And next weighs in on Tabson, and that's it. You know, it's a good plant under the circumstances, but had they been able to make a clean plant to begin with, maybe that slows down the rotate, and maybe Mouse Sports go on to win that round. Whatever happens, we won't know. It's 5-4. To mouse sports. So many mistakes in this game. I don't I don't like where Tubson stayed. You know, mm. they knew the bomb was in CT spawn. Yeah. And they knew he needed to pick it up from there. And he just stood there. They knew it. And he didn't react. Yeah, he didn't react. He yeah, I don't know. It was it wasn't a good position. After all, they could have won the round, but yeah, whatever. In this scenario would have I mean but did you see Guppy fail to plan? Yeah. Just think yeah. about the scenario, the, yeah, the yeah, time right that's now. That's what yeah. I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's like he goes for the smoke, and then <laughs> there's that moment where he's just like, shakes. You're like, yeah, man, you did forget to do something. You did like cut it off. Unfortunate mistake that definitely cost your team time. You know, we can't say they would have won the round <laughs> anyway, so maybe we shouldn't be too critical. But again, these are the little mistakes. These are the they margins. They had the chance to win the round. Yeah, they exactly. Right. Exactly right, Johnny. You know, these are the margins of error that have just really you know stopped one side stepping up and running away from this at any point you know and let's not forget this is the deciding map in a one-all series so uh you know little mistakes are gonna doom you uh to a defeat stavros is gonna get killed Alex is gonna get another one you see stavros just kind of uh shimmying around hopping around next takes down taps and arlie with a great little double there and gobby has got four hp <laughs> wait a second arlie has got eight <laughs> They still have the bomb, though. They're going to be able to get out onto the B side and plant. Yeah, Gabi is probably going to throw the bomb across, or is he actually going to attempt to jump? I don't know. He should, he, yeah, well, it's going to be hard for them now. 
Alu's took a little bit too long. Stavros? Yeah. Yeah. And well, well, great play from Alu. I well, tell you what, if they go on to win this round, someone buy Alu a beer because he'll have come up absolutely huge with his three kills. And you can see he's just trying to control his aim. Is he Alu able to do it? And Alu with round. the quadruple kill to pull a round out of nowhere, like literally from the fire for Mouse Sports. And you can see, look, the excuses are in for Tribbly. Nice one, server. But I, I don't know. It, I didn't see anything that looked. I don't think it was a server. No, I, I think it was. You know, Stavros, at, at the double doors, he just overpeaked. He had his mate right beside him, and he overpeaked. Yep. You know they won't have Kevlar or Hammer. Just let them plan. Let them have the money, but win the round. Yeah. Don't peak like that. I'm with I don't you, know Johnny, if, if if he lagged out or something. No. But what an awesome <laughs> round by Alu. But they made it easy for him. Yeah, they they. That was given again, though one after another, yep. one after another. Despite the fact that Alu initially he got like one, two guys in the back on B slope like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, great, great play for him to get uh, that double kill with a pistol. But from that point, it's like Johnny says, just let them plant. You know they're low, just kill them. Let mm. them plant and kill them. Simple. Maybe as that. it was something with the server. Maybe Stavros liked out. I don't know. Well, it didn't seem like that because he was moving normally, but yep, who we're, knows? We're, we're watching what he's watching, and yeah. you know, we, we would notice if there was any lag or any bugs or anything. So, you know, I'm inclined to say that's you know, if you need to believe that there was lag there, then just to buy that horrible round, fine, do it. But uh, it looked good to us. So, Mouse Sports take a 6 4 lead, and uh, looks like it's soon to be a 7 4 lead. Although, again, making predictions in this game. Someone in the chat said oh, Stavros just stood there. He legged out. Did you see that? I didn't see I, I saw him moving. Yeah, so. I don't know. Well, you know, maybe maybe he did. Maybe he did. That's something that we would probably Let's say he did. Let's say he did. Well, no, I'm not going to It's say still, that. I mean, even <laughs> if he did. Even if he did, though, that's still all of, like, yeah. 1v3. Because that last guy certainly had uh, all the HP. You know, they, the yeah, well, they had 12 HP between them, didn't they? They had 12 yeah, HP. for Mouse. You know, it's just... Just yeah. going with your pistol at that point. Yeah, you exactly. Throw your pistol at them. Better yet, throw them with a flash. I haven't seen a, like a competitive yeah, match kill yet with a nade. You could kill them with a bad joke at that point. Just let them, you know, or bust out the the, the bucket dad joke. Some harsh That's criticism. It. Yeah, it's all over. Yeah, exactly. Some stiff language. <laughs> no problem. So again, it's just another one of those mistakes. Planet Key. Honestly, you know, it's just been such an up and down series from two teams that you get the impression neither of them want to win at this point. You know, it's like, guys, come on. Everything to play for. I like how most plays it. They play it very controlled together as a team. Even though they ran out of time a couple of rounds, they still, they still played good. But... In my opinion, Planet Key, they they know. Look, look on the radar. No one is at B. Mm. They yeah. did it so many rounds where they stacked up and ran A. Just try to push B. Mm -hmm. Try to gain some information. If someone is there, okay, maybe bad luck. Yeah, but I'm try to push it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, if you push into that tunnel area, you know, you can get yourself uh, a lot of information just from doing yeah. that. I mean, while you're saying about that, it looks like actually maybe mouse sports are gonna. Uh, they're going know, out yeah, of middle. Yeah, they're going out of middle, and that'll probably be a mid to B, is it? Or no, no they're no. going back in. This is a fake. Yeah, they're faking it. And now they're gonna be out. Now Alexa needs to shine. He gets one. And just the one. So Legge is going to uh, take him down. And in the end, Trubbly probably should have done a little bit better. And just look at this. Stavros comes Stavros up on shot. a double. Another frag. And then another frag three, for him. Three frags for him. Three man. kills coming out of short. Chris J, the last man standing. And uh, not able to pull off the no-scope. So Stavros with a four-man. Great play by him. Planet Key, you know, clawing and scrapping their way back into this one. But Mouse Sports obviously have still got money in the bank, so they're going to be facing a gun round. What a great round for Stavros. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, any round you pick up four kills is great. But when you're in that position and you're getting... Scored, he was alone. Yeah. Are we going to see anything kind of uh, aggressive coming out of Mouse Sports, though? Well, we haven't seen them pull off anything fast, really. And that's the in that's the interesting thing, you know, that it, like that's Johnny pointed out, they've that's been playing go go really play style. Mm -hmm. Gob already having an influence on Maus and what they decide to bring uh, to the strategic table. 
This is the kind of thing that we're going to be keeping our eye on now, the evolution of mouse sports, considering the, the main opinion with the team is this lineup is going to stay. We're going to have this one for a while. It's not going to be just changing somebody out after every land. We're going to make this one work. You know, how long before we really start to see a, a different mouse, a mouse that starts pulling in results? Here's the first hurdle, and this is with a minimum of preparation as well. Keep in mind, they've only had three days to crack together with this team before this tournament. So you do have to take some of the plays that are coming in from Mouse with a grain of salt. A lot of this, as Chris J says, comes down to individual performance. Let's see how things go here. Strugs predicting Ooh. the flash, turns away, doesn't get it. And that's a bit unfortunate for him. Now it's going to come down to Nex, who does get a good spray down, but only the one. But look, three guys on B, and they only managed to get one kill. Yeah, that's un you can't have that kind of mistake. But I mean, this is still an incredibly uh, you know close tie. I mean, we we have no idea what Planet Key are going to pull out in the second half when they're on terrorist, right? So I mean, I, I don't know what. I, are you confident that Mouse Pots have a really solid CT side? Yes. Yeah. 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 I do. I do think so. Legia, Scar Twenty. Um, Alu and Chris, they can go bananas. If they get the money for it, they can really be very scary on CT. Now I'm curious to see if, if Gob is going to going to endorse, you know, pushes around, pushing upper dark, pushing longhouse, these sorts of things like pushing up mid, getting mid control. I mean, trying to trying to throw um, Planet Key off their stride by being a bit aggressive on the CT side, which is something you can do on Dusty, which Dusty actually favors. So, what has Gob B got in store for us now? Well, it'll be interesting to see what he can pull out of his sleeve. I mean, I, I, I think I agree with you. You definitely need to start uh, playing a little bit more aggressively and trying to get some information and trying to get some reconnaissance uh, around the map once you uh, you know switch to that CT side. So, be interesting to see if he does do that though, or whether he's going to kind of go to default and play a little bit passive. Anyway, we're in the here and now in this half. It's eight five to Mouse Sports, and you can see that Planet Key not having a good time as CT. Mouse spots are spread out nicely, and while that happens, Chris J just worked that pick. Nice strike by Chris J. Yeah, definitely, and, and very big within the context of the round. Ali's quick to follow up on Stavros. You can see Triple E's dropped right back on short. He's not going to get pushed at the moment because they're not going to go through that smoke. And again, like you keep saying, Johnny, the guys on B uh, haven't uh, rotated in an expedient fashion. Yeah, by this point, the round is effectively over. And you see now that Triple E's taken down. The two guys who are stranded high and dry at B are just going to get wrecked on the rotate. You can see Strux is... Uh, killing Alu, but now he's trying to reload while Tabson's facing him. Tabson is going to get that kill. It's going to be 9-5 now to Mouse Sports. And again, why are they doing that, though? I, 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 even I can see as a relative novice that, you know, they're stacking the two on B and they're rotating late and they're not pushing into the tunnels and they're not gaining the information. Because Planet Key plays it like that. They smoke long, they smoke short. They don't expect Mouse Sports to push through these smokes. They are trying to to just stack those, those sites. But... Mouse Sports plays it very well because Mouse Sports react to the play style. Planet Key doesn't react, they just play their game. And that's the wrong thing. You need to, to react to your opponents. And that's why I think Mouse Sports will take this home. It could easily have been like nine rounds for Planet Key right now. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. A lot of mis mistakes happened as well, you know? But yeah. If if Planet Key managed to react to to the game, what what Mouse Sports is playing, then I could see they they they're winning the the half, but not like that. Well, we'll see how it's gonna go down. Uh, you know, I, I gotta say that uh, it's not looking too good for them right now. Planet Key looks like it's gonna be a 10-5 half. And oh. oh my God! And as I say that, <laughs> the explosion. Did you just see that? The health just disappeared. That was huge. And that really does turn it round on its head. That was a money nade right there. Yeah, r that absolutely was. So, Planet Key might be able to add more to their haul, but uh, Tabson's got something to say about that and takes down next. And so, well, great little kill from Struxy on Allegia, but that means they're just going to come out now and uh, take the B bomb site. Planet Key going to have to rotate here. It's going to be incredibly hard for them. A lot of low HP all over, and uh, Gobby's going to get the kill onto Alex. Alu's going to get the kill onto Stavros. And it's all on Struxy. What's he going to be able to do? I'm going to wage not too much. 
And we should see that 10-5 half income. I mean, this is an incredibly hard retake. He's got no kit. Yeah, and no kit as well. There we go. Tabson is going to uh, get that kill. And there we go. Well played by Mousebots this round. They let Ligia push all alone through short, and they just ran on to B. Easy like that. Well, you know, that nade nearly uh, turned things on its head, you know, but it... Uh, it did, but they played it very good then. Yeah, they, 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 the they, they were smart, and Planet Key weren't able to capitalize. So, 10-5 is the half. Uh, boys, let's let's talk about this. How, how, are we going to change our mind with our predictions? I still think Planet Key can <laughs> do some damage here, you know, I, 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 I've got to say. And you can rule nothing out in this game, literally. We've seen everything. Ridiculous, you know, sublime. It's been good, it's been bad. But it's just been, you know, this epic drawn-out series where it's like I say, it's almost like two teams, you know, that don't want to win. They're afraid to win. They're afraid of the, of the glory that comes with that. Does that they, make they, any sense? Yeah, they don't want to win because they think they'll get put on the couch <laughs> with us again. That's why. Right. Hey, exactly. You know, Chris J, man, he doesn't want that interview. <laughs> If they yeah, win. Yeah. If they that, win. yeah, every time every time our sports win or lose, we have to interview Chris J. That's just it. <laughs> so what about that one? Did you install your third party software in that game? <laughs> yeah. No dude, no. The grilling. Whoa. We're already live in the second half. Yeah, look at the nades though on Boom. Planicky. Yeah, Boom is right. They want to blow shit up. Like this is good. I mean usually you could you could expect like three Kevlars, maybe a couple guys sporting nades. But these guys are going four guys full nades. This is really interesting. They've got a lot of gear on T side. And what the hell is Alu doing? Is and it does this work? It, it, it's live right now, dude. Okay. Crazy. Uh, so start unfortunate. For the round. What a good move. Yeah, what? I mean, it was incredibly smart to get himself in that position. Wasn't able to capitalize. But what did Planet Key do in that yeah. round to let him push there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was focusing on. Something else. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm, I'm at a loss, man. <laughs> I'm really at a loss. And also for three of them to be there like that. To, I mean. So Mouse Sports a man down bright and early uh, in this half, and you can see that Planet Key moving all the way along. Tabson's going to throw down this flash. That's going to slow down the push. Is he able to get a kill though? No, he isn't. So Stavros is going to get the kill on Tabson. Five on three, and barely any damage taken, which is really telling. For Planet Key here, they're going to be supremely confident. They're going to run up to the car, and they're just going to get a pick there. Alex with that kill. It's all on Chris J. One headshot. That's all he's able to get. Tribbly takes him down. And look at Leccia coming behind. Is he going to go for the old, uh, the old jumping headshot? He is. Doesn't get it. And it's going to be a nice and easy pistol what for around. Planet Key. Great round. But like you say, the degrees... Uh, of success and failure because Ali pushes into a great position. We could have really caught them off. Planet Key just seemed to, okay, we're going to double back, and yeah. they got the kill. Well, not only that, they sent two guys to ramp. Yeah. Like, I'm f I, it, at that point, I'm fully expecting Planet Key to put all three guys just jumping straight to B. Like, when do you put two guys to ramp? Like, that is incredible right there. Incredible smart play. Yeah, just being so thorough. Yeah. That's the kind of what well, that's the kind of play that they're going to need here if they want to come out ahead. Although giving away frags in an anti eco is not allowed. Alu and Legia on the B site, stopping them cold. There is a kill for Stavros, however, on the A side of things, but this is all Legia. Unfortunately he doesn't get the kill. But he's got now I mean God B's got a gun to play with. Yep, God B has got his gun, and oh. it's two V two. Oh, I mean that's very unfortunate for uh, Chris J pushing into the mid area just at the wrong time to get caught while uh, the terrorists rotate. And that does change the complexion, but actually it's a 1v1 now. So Alex with the scout and Gobby with the Galil with superior health. Our planet key about to, you know, get eco'd again and throw the round away. Well, Gobby's got a rifle to play with right That's now. That's what I'm saying. You've got to back Gobby in this situation. I mean, this is an interesting position still. He's not going to know that he's... Wow. He spotted him in that angle? You're not fully covered there. You're not fully covered. Yeah, you would have spotted the shoulder, basically. Yeah. Well, they got out of jail there. So uh, let's see if they can have a monopoly on the rest of this half because Planet Key really need to uh, step it up and try and get some parity here. Mouse Sports had a great first half innings, but Planet Key, almost despite themselves, win the first two rounds, and Mouse Sports are back down onto an eco. Do they peek? Yes, there's the running peek real quick. 
tempts fate again. That was Chris J playing with fire at mid doors right there. Doesn't get too much information. The only spots the one man in T spawn, so doesn't spot anybody out else. Excuse me, moving around on the map. So off to a good start. Planet uh, Key have managed to get that early kill, and it's Alu that they've taken down. Although he's not really been electric in this series, it's got to be said. And you can see that Stavros is just. Uh, Getting a kill there on the Thompson. Again, going to get a second on the Chris J. He wasn't able to do anything with the pistol. Oh, what they both ran out of bullets. Oh, my word. <laughs> no. Let's just stand there and dry fire at each other. <laughs> you can just hear the click, click, click on both sides. What is going on now? Like, yeah, he's got that P250. Going to go for a Cali. Not going to land it. Well, you're not going to kill somebody by making bang noises with your mouth, are you? So, <laughs> Nex is going to get the kill on the ledge here. It's going to be 10-8 to Mouse Sports. Planet Key in the ascendancy in this half, though. And again, you know, you're going to say this a few times over the course of a game as a caster. But this is a big round. This is, again, one of those key turning points. Because, you know, we've got this dual AWP setup coming yep. in from Mouse Sports. And this is what I tried to highlight, you know, before the game started. This is an area where they can dominate. If Arlo and Chris J can lock out the terrorists with these orbs, they're going to do very well for themselves and probably close out this map. If they can't, Planet Key are going to take it. I said that as well. If they manage to play on their on their highest potential, they will win it easily because Alu and Chris J both are so, so great orbs. But if they don't manage to play well, then they're buying orbs for so much money. They need to drop orbs and mm. it will ruin the game for them. Uh, it's all about economy at this point. They've spent every dime they've got as yep. well right now, Mouseports. So there's nothing left in the bank. This is an all or nothing move, essentially. So right now, I mean, fairly standard hold as far as they're concerned, although this isn't a very common one. Like, yeah, just hugging the scaffolding, looking towards V-Slope. So might be, get ca might be getting caught out, potentially, if they decide to go back through mid doors right now. Planet Key's moving the bomb up Cat, though, so it does look like they want to give attention to A-Site. Oh, they're going for this one. They're going to bank this smoke down into uh, CT spawn. And they're probably going to go running right up CT spawn again, right? Two guys are going to jump down into CT. They're going to try and catch somebody off guard. Stavros misses Fails the jump. jump. But you rem remember the round against Reason? Mm -hmm. This is it. They're doing it again right now. Crossfire setup. Chris J doesn't land the shot, but God B is there. God B trying to hold the line. Needs to stop him cold, but he's going to get overwhelmed eventually. Stavros will finally, or rather Struggs will take him out. But there we go. Four members survive here for Planet Key going on to that A site. That is, again, success with that strategy. And this is a lot coming down to Alex right now with that AWP. He's going to get overwhelmed. Like, yeah, tries to swap out for the gun himself, and that's not going to work. Alu's now going to take a crack at it. Three members still alive here for Planet Key, and it's going to be three members alive at the end of the round. The big I'm, round I'm actually working. I'm not sure I would have swapped out for the AWP there. Yeah, I wonder as well. What do you think, Johnny? Do you, would you have gone for the AWP? It's the decision making you need to make in this round, and he thought it would be the best to pick the AWP. His AK was empty, mm -hmm. or whatever he had, and yeah, he wanted to kill him. At Planet Key, that seems to be kind of like their ace in the whole strat. Like it worked really well versus Reason, and here it yeah. works again. Like they're able to make it work despite the fact that Stavros doesn't really hit the jump. <laughs> <laughs> He gets clipped on well, the wall Well, talking there. about go-to strats, this looks like a good old-fashioned uh, slobber knocker out of B. And you can see that Stavros gets a kill. Trouble, he's going to get an A kill on Oalu. And uh, all of a sudden, bomb site B is open for business like a 7-Eleven. They're just going to uh, get this easy plant, and a mouse bot's going to be able to do anything with just their pistols as they try and push through these smokes. And there it is. There's the bomb down and ticking away, planted by Next, who drops back into the safe spot. They're going to throw some smokes down to cover it, and Chris J gets a pistol through those smokes, <laughs> operating in his favor this time. You can see they've got a nice little boost there on the entrance to tunnels, though, and Alex is going to get a kill on the tabs. And Chris J is still waiting for the person at the uh, back of B to just show themselves, trying to get that kill. Trouble, he's having none of it, and is going to execute Chris J. God B is miles away. This bomb's going to go off, and it's going to tie up the game, guys. Like I said, this is going to go to the wire. Yeah, man, this is definitely close. Planet Key are slowly but surely getting rounds back on this. I mean, it ended not too hot for Planet Key, but that that hasn't phased them in the second half. They're just slowly but surely able to get rounds on the board. Now, Mouseports, they decide not to go for a double e or a double op. 
no, I mean, they even had the money to go for. If I'm not mistaken, double up, set up. Yeah, double up or Scar 20 on, Le on Legia. Like, they've done that as well on Dust2 in the past. Yep. I mean, Legia is still holding B site for them. We've seen them do that a lot in the past, actually, and I'm surprised they don't turn to that now, maybe to try and change things up. Yeah. So, again, we're at, we're at one of those turning points. There's a signpost, and one way says, win. And the next says, get wrecked. And there's Tabson getting a nice early kill to try and steady the ship for Mouse Sports. <clears throat> Gonna give him a five on four advantage. And they're just looking around and waiting. Mm. I'll be right now, I'm playing doubles with Chris J. Chris J lands the Chris shot. J. That's a tough shot to land, actually. He's timed that to perfection. So, great second kill. Effectively ends this round, barring a disaster. You can see that uh, the Planet Key guys are all dropping back to the B side. Gobby's just holding that CT spawn area with a flash out. So I'm guessing he's going to have uh, called. He must have heard them heading back that way. So. All right, now they're not going to have too much luck. Smoke is going to go down, and God B effectively gets cut out of here. And he does find an angle. Up so we can see over the top, he knows they haven't gone through that smoke. But that and there's only 17 seconds on the clock here, Sam. They're not going to be able to do to anything, the yeah. Yeah, they're going to have to save at this point. They can't get anywhere. Alex has still got that off. I mean, and they don't have, well, they do have the money to rebuy in the next round. But that 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 is what makes mouse boards so good. Look, just taps and pushed through long doors. All by himself, managed to get the kill. Mm. Chris J, the the double on short with yeah. Gob, he managed to get a kill, and they ran out when well, it ran out of time. What is going on, Taz? Taz is pointing at me. Are you, pro this, are you will be, this will be one of your favorite events. So he's probably he's already drugged me. Yeah, I mean he's saying that know. holding a fresh pack of water right now. Not exactly what I expected it for him to have in his hands. Yeah, I, I don't think that's water, someone. <laughs> It's like that syringe. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. So here we are, 11 10 to mouse sports, but uh, full complement of weapons on either side. Planet Key hanging on in there despite losing the half 10 5. Game incredibly close. It's gone gone to the wire. Anyone who's followed this series from beginning to end will not know what to make of this series. Hugely entertaining. Sometimes for the wrong reasons, it's got to be said. So, uh, does Tabson decide to go for another push out long? Well, has he got the stones to do it? And uh, I mean, he's going to need some bravery if he wants to go down there. I mean, he's done it once already, but is he actually setting up for another one? I mean, that's possible. No, that was not an ROF screenshot, guys. Nothing, to, nothing to screenshot yet. So now he knows that there's one on long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, 20 seconds Stavros on the clock. just pushed into City Spawn. They're going to be with Stavros lurking in City Spawn. Well, they've absolutely got to do this quick. And you can see Arlo's going to shut it down nice and early. Two kills from him. That's going to pretty much end the round. He gets a triple in the end. Next time, he's about a double. Doesn't have the time, or does he? Nope. Can he get this down? No, no he doesn't now. And uh, well, again, boys. a great round by Arlo. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I mean, Arlu again. Every time one of those rounds has come up where it's like, you know, you've got to be able to make those important kills, he's done it. Yeah, this hasn't been a vintage Arlu performance. Yeah, he hasn't really shone to his usual level. But again, it's just having the presence of mind, the wherewithal to make kills like that. And again, wins them around, gives Mouse Sports a bit of breathing room. Exactly. But again, there's going to be some more twists and turns yet in this game. This is going all the way. It was a very good round by, by Planet Key. They managed to get Stavros into CT spawn trying to lurk from behind, trying to get the rotation, but Alu, <laughs> my god. So, Mouse Sports uh, lose Chris J early in this round. Planet Key have got an AWP out, and you can see it's that man Alex. He's been allowed to pick one up. Do you reckon the... the yeah, you reckon <laughs> Trouble he's said to him? Go on then, do your thing. Are they actually expecting a I boost? I hope so. They're checking for a boost right now. That's how thorough PKD are. I... Oh. 
Let's follow the smoke. They're trying to push out of long with some grenades. Yeah, one to the right, one to the left. So, yeah. well, forms a wall. It's not a not a super effective smoke uh, in in that instance. That second one was though. Taps is going to get the first kill, and he's jumped back in there. What? There was someone there. How's that <laughs> even happened? Was there. How's that happened? Well, in the end, Struxy's going to get the kill, but again, it's one of those mistakes. Still, the round is alive. It's a three on three. There's 25 seconds on the clock, and you can see that planet key are pushing up long. They're really trying to go for it right now. And uh, are they able to get the next kill? Well, Alu gets the orb kill, but 17 seconds. Seconds. Stavros comes up big. Is oh. he able to get the third? No, he isn't. Falls at the last oh, hurdle. Missed that. And it was the easiest of the bunch, Sembler. That was the easiest of the three kills. He hits the man, CT midair, headshot, gets the guy on cat, headshot, and then doesn't manage the guy on the A site. But then, I mean, I know we're asking a lot. He's still got two kills in that round. I mean, that's still good work. But again, nearly they threw the round. Yep. It was so, put round. At, at, at this point, you probably has got to say, things are looking like they're just going to go to Mouseport's way. Mouseport's going to be able to limp over this finish line. But again, let's not rule anything out. Planet Key Dynamics still in this game. We've seen so many Ecos in this series that it's incredible. You know, I mean, we know the pistols can be effective, but still, you shouldn't lose. Uh, so, the Nex has got one gun as well. If he can pick up one of his trademark doubles at the Whoa, start. Oh, he went of for a Hellraiser's gun. What is this? He spent all of his money. Is there some miscommunication as far as like what they wanted to do this round? Then, I think so. Yeah, because that's I mean, that's a, not it standard. Could, yeah, it could be a, a mix. Well, could, yeah, a miss buy. Yeah, I'm thinking say. that's a miss buy or miscommunication. Maybe he, he was unaware of how much money they actually had. Tapson just using all of his bullets with an M4A1, totally blind. No luck well, for them. Yeah, great early pick from Alex, and they're out on short. And uh, Chris J needed to come up big there and get that kill. But now he's getting swarmed from long. And you see Alex with that AK. Well, but then the M4, I should say. In the end, Gobby shuts him down. 14 rounds to 10. But even then, if you have someone who misbought, mm. why wouldn't you let him go and try to kill someone? Yep. Probably just pushed all alone. No, no need for that. You, you, okay. You have someone who misbought. Don't be mad. Let him go somewhere. Let yeah. he, let him go. Even though it's ne next, next is such an incredible player. Yeah. Let him go somewhere. Kill someone. But yeah, I don't know. Are they mad? <laughs> yeah, wondering. That's the thing. You, know? you gotta yeah. wonder. I mean, it comes back to that health question of the team of the roster. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll soon, we'll soon find out. No doubt when we see them come out of the, uh, the playing dungeon. I don't know if we'll get them on the couch because obviously we don't want this game. We don't want the tournament to run into the small hours, so we've got three more games, three more best of threes after this. Well, how many best of threes have we done today yet? Four. Is this our fourth? Yeah. I think no, so. this is our third. Is it? Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun, bro. So that 7 a.m. start's not going to take its toll on my old bones. <laughs> But uh, no, nah, anyway, I don't want to be like Corey. I'm not going to complain about being tired. I just love to be here, right? Exactly, man. I mean, we were just going on and on about so it. So Chris J is going to get the uh, first kill. And uh, hugely important within the context of this uh, game. Maybe this is going to be the 16-10 some people were predicting. Push mid coming in from Planet Key. And Alu looked away because of the flash. If he'd held his nerve, he probably could have had some kills. He's going to get a double. Well, he's took someone down very low. But he himself has been taken down low in the process. <laughs> Ledge is right at the back of the site. Trouble, he's going to get a kill. Gobby's killed Alu. Gobby, what are you doing? But it's okay. Ledge has got this. Has he? No. Next is going to get the kill. It's a 2 on 2 situation. Gobby just spraying away into the smoke. Takes down his own teammate. And the bomb has been put down. So Tabson's going to get taken down by Trouble. And all of a sudden, it's all on Chris J with the M4. He's going to have to push through this smoke, is he? Is he? He's, he's going to save. Or is he going to save? Or is he going to go for it? Uh, if he saves, they can drop for uh, yep, Gobby. Yeah, he, he is, he is going to save. So to uh, to quote my grandfather, this game is as tight as a fish's ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's... Uh, the British jokes. That's what he said. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mouse sports though, man. <laughs> like about having a bit of a PKD moment there. I mean, Stavros, Stavros is having flashbacks. He's like, oh, thanks, guys, you know? <laughs> doing me a solid, doing me a solid there. I'm just imagining of okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you did that fish. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, how does it Into work? the next exactly. round. Um... You got a powerful imagination, huh, Johnny? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's perfect. So. <laughs> okay, 40, 40 and 11, though. You know, this, this literally. This, this is us focused, yeah. Johnny. Like, just so you know, man. Okay. <sighs> Good times. Um, Alex Zor again with the orb. He needs to do something right now. He hasn't got the opportunity to. Look, uh, he's holding long with the orb. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. he's really putting it to good use. You know, get those entry frags. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, but I mean, like, he's not gonna. It doesn't seem like Mouseport's what's in the cards right now. I mean, Tabson, look at the way Tabson is holding right now. I mean, he's looking towards the main entrance, obviously to a house because he can look through this wall, right? So, I mean, clearly that's what's happening here. Well, no, that's really not what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please, <laughs> don't, don't don't make people make gifts. That's really not what's happening. That. But I mean, look, look at this mouse Well, this is a great too. flash that Tabson's deployed. Is he going to be able to get it? The kill? Yes, he is. That is one. So they're going to have to push him. He's going to get two. Pistols out. There's a third from Chris J and Planet Key. Well, this has got to be over, surely, at this juncture. Chris J is dropping back to short while strixie has got the kill at long. So Chris J is going to flip it around. He knows exactly where it is. It's a 2 on 3 situation. Next with a great kill. Leggy have fluffed his lines look a little the bit there. He's backing off. But yeah, there's only eight seconds on the clock. Leggy is going to get the kill. It is going to go to 15 11. And Strixie is going to save that M4. So again, Great play by Tabson. What an awesome round. Yeah. Tabson just shut down two guys on long. Chris J came for help, killed one guy. Good team play. But I don't know what Planet Key just did there. Let the orb hold long. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Setting up a long push. And, and then uh, kind of just not really doing much with it at all, really. Then it looked like Tabson was too on point there with the shots. Either. I mean, the first one was clean, the second one was a bit touch and go, and then that bought time for Chris J to come in to the cavalry, basically, on that white horse. Nice. Ah. Planky right now, they are, they do seem to be stretching. Two Tech Nines this time around, three rifles this is the best they can do. This is potentially match point here. This is the last match, but this is best of three. It's 1 1 right now, and Mouse Sports, one round away from picking it up. This is it. And they're going back to tried and true, pretty much, Mouse Sports. But this is going to be a B split push, it looks like. They're just swarming out through the mid doors right now. PKD. Now, does God B find the right time? He's going to go for a peek. He's going to go for the flash. Yeah, he's going to go for the double flash. In the meantime, Alu's just too late. He flashed his Yeah, yeah. You, you fly. Thanks for flashing me, bro. But I don't think it's going to make any difference because Legion and Gobi are going to get those kills. And uh, that's going to be all she wrote. I'm pretty sure it's a 4 on 2 situation. Legia, what is he doing, bro? There's the granny throw that you were talking about. He's just jumping up and down. Like a bunny rabbit at the moment, and Trouble is going to get the kill with a Tech 9. You can see that one of the players from Mouse Sports is still all the way on A. Now he's starting to rotate. Gobby's coming through the window. Taps is going to get the kill. Stavros. That's back, and there it is. G